Hi family, Danny here. How are you doing today? I hope you're looking forward to Christmas. I know I am. It's one of my favorite. That Christmas and Halloween, of course, is, are like my favorites. It might sound like a unique combination, but you know, I'm a unique person. So I decided that I wanted to talk about some of the awesome Christmas comics that are out that came out this past week. I mean, we really, really have some gems. And one of the first ones that I want to talk about is Batman and Santa Claus, Silent Night. I mean, come on, guys. You can't go wrong with Batman and Santa Claus. I mean, when I when I saw this, like, you know, in the up and comings, I was super, super so stoked. I mean, gosh, come on, one of my favorite characters. And there was like hints that other other heroes would be involved. As you saw on the cover, you see Wonder Woman in the background and you see Superman. And you know, I one of my traditions has always been getting Archie's Christmas special comic that comes out every year and then I usually try to save that one for Christmas Eve and you know but this year it's usually just Archie There's usually not that many special Christmas ones but they really outdid themselves I mean you know we have Creep Show we're going to be talking about Sabrina Solstice special DC's got a compilation comic with a bunch of great stories in featuring different characters. So there's there's quite a few good ones out. So we start we're starting out with this one. So we open up with some carolers. You know, we getting in we're getting in the Christmas spirit and they're out there singing and doing their thing. But of course, you know, it's a DC, it's a story with Batman involved. So some, you know, some stuff is going to pop off, right? So all of a sudden we see these nightmarish creatures just kind of swoop down that look like vampires. And they snatch everybody up and, you know, everybody's like, and they leave these puncture wounds on their neck. So Batman and Damien are on the scene and they're they're surveying it and they're, you know, talking about possible suspects and how a lot of the usual suspects are are locked up and so they're really puzzled. And they thought, you know, the all these creatures were vanquished when one wasn't, one is still alive and so they kind of start battling with it. And as they're doing this, who should appear on the scene? Let me show you guys Batman and Damien on the scene surveying it. And who should appear? Zatanna. And Zatanna comes and, you know, she's opening up her magic books, of course. And she's, you know, and she, she's got her knowledge. And, you know, we know she's got her magical knowledge with her and her dad. And so she's telling them that these creatures are called drogs. They're Norse creatures. They're vampire-like creatures. And as she's explaining this, we get this Santa comes, right? And so... Everyone is shocked to see Santa. Let me show you guys Santa's appearance. Wow, isn't that isn't that awesome? And what I liked about this is the reactions of the characters, right? Zatanna is such a strong-willed girl, woman, and such a kick-ass chick. And she just literally becomes... A little girl, like a wide-eyed little girl standing in front of Santa, like she's so stoked. And that was one of the, the things I really liked about this story is the very reactions, right? So Santa comes and he is explaining more about these creatures. He knows he knows qu quite a bit. So he gives gives a little bit more info we get. And in the middle of this, we also find out that Nightwing and Batgirl are having their own battle because these creatures have attacked in another area. And of course, Santa comes 
And again, we get another different reaction. They're a little bit more reserved, but they're still shocked. I mean, Nightwing is literally like, no way, you know? So it's just so cute because you would expect knowing these characters and their personalities, you can kind of like expect them to be like Damien was kind of like, yeah, really? You got to be kidding me. And you would kind of expect that. I mean, look who his mom is, who his granddad is, how he was raised. So you kind of expect him to be a little bit more skeptical. And he was. So we got skeptical Damien, wide-eyed Zatanna, and then kind of reserved, like, I'm shocked. And, and of course, everybody's shocked that Batman knows Santa. So we find out that Bat, that Santa had he, we find out more of his backstory, right? And I'm going to tell you guys, because I don't want to give you guys too many spoilers because I want you to get these comics. They're awesome. But Santa's backstory, according to this comic, is not what we saw in Night Before Christmas at all. It's totally different. We also find out that he and Krampus were kind of like a team at one point. And they, I don't want to give away too much on that either, but they had a falling out and he had to literally like kind of put him in this like realm along with all these creatures. We also find out that some of this might be the result of what we saw in Night Terrors. If you guys got a chance to read Night Terrors, if you didn't, it's out in the trade book now. I strongly recommend it. But things got a little bit discombobulated when the nightmare nightmare realm and the real world melded together. We see Green Arrow too, among others, so we get to see his his reaction, and um, we kind of end it with him letting them know that you know we got to get the, we got these creatures is, are like on the war path. This is really serious, and if they crossed over, we got to stop it. And again, like I said, I want to emphasize, I don't want to give away too much. I want to give you guys an idea of what you'll get. So comic number two is out as well, right? And in two, let me leave my bookmarker. We get to see Krampus. And we also get a little bit more of the backstory. Let me see Green Arrow. And we get a little bit more of, you know, why he and Krampus fell out, you know, what that was all about. We also get, like I said, his history. And um, at the end of this one, at the end of issue two, we get a visit from, well, I don't want to give it away, but another hero who is also shocked that Batman knows Santa. So in conclusion, you guys, um, this comic is definitely a thumbs up. If you like Batman, if you like the Justice League and you like seeing the heroes work together, if you, you know, are like Christmas and you like Santa, you'll like this too. And, and like I said, it also gives you a childlike, it's a childlike innocence to it. You know, it makes you feel like when you when you were a kid, I think it's an awesome comic for an adult and, and a child. Maybe not, you know, too young. It all depends, but I don't think it would be scary or anything for a smaller kid. But like I said, it was just so cute. Like what really touched my heart was seeing them like, oh my gosh, it's Santa. Like they're all fanboying and fangirling about Santa. So I strongly recommend them. We got issue one and two, um, three should be coming out soon. If not this week, um, I'll be going to my comic book store to check it out and see. I know I got an email that I got some new comics coming. We'll probably going to be doing next Sabrina, this, her summer solstice com comic. And that's a good one too. So, in, you know, you guys, if you get a chance, get out there and explore, you know, and see, you know, in this season, some cool stuff to enjoy. I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay different. Bye.